everybody it's rev time today I want to talk about um, playing in stereo and it's odd that I'm doing that right now because for the most part I just I don't anymore and it's not because I don't love it like this sounds really nice um, I'm using my uh, d25 on the left side of the mix with a 1 by 12 IR so I am running everything direct and I'm using my d20 on the right side of the mix using a 4 by 12 IR so if they, I mean, they're, they're different sounding amps anyways, but I wanted to further that by using different IRs to keep the stereo field uh, even more stereo. Uh, you know, and that's, you know, when you think, I think of guys like uh, Josh Smith, he's an amazing guitar player, but he'll use like a British amp on one side and a more American voice amp on the other side, even if he's not using anything that creates a stereo image, you know, like this delay. <laughs> Because you don't, if you have the exact same amps on both sides dialed the exact same way, you're not really creating a like a stereo image per se. I mean, they're spread left and right, but essentially they're going to sound like they're right here and there's no real stereo image. So that's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of digressing. Uh, that's what I'm using. Uh, I'm sorry for the poor shot on the pedal board and the amps. I just, I ran out of cameras, to be honest with you. So I had to do kind of a long shot on the amps. Um, but yeah, playing in stereo is, you know, a thing that I love. But at the same time, in, especially if I'm doing a session, I never play in stereo. Mainly because there's no place to put me. If I'm on a session and I know it's just me and bass and drums and maybe just piano or something... I know I can do that, but in most cases, it's it's tons of instrumentation. So what's going to happen is this delay. If the mix engineer decides I got to put this guy over here, then all of that kind of gets summed over here and things are going to get weird uh, with that delay. Now, I know there's mix engineers that can sort that out, but for the most part, that's what I'm finding. But I guess the question is, and I would love to hear from you guys on this is, you know, as far as like a stereo field or just playing in stereo in general, how many of you guys play nothing but in stereo? Like I know a lot of guys 
uh, in kind of the worship guitar scene play in stereo a ton. And when I think about that, it's like, well, that could work because it's one electric guitar, usually an acoustic guitar, and then keys. It's very seldomly two electric guitars. And even then, I would hope that one of them is playing in mono and the other one is playing in stereo because then you can mix proper. Um, but, you know, and, and I, you know, back in the day, I remember all my favorite guitar players, especially in the 90s, it was all in stereo, but maybe not. You know, I know a lot of the solos maybe weren't. Um, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where I, I really love it, but at the same time, um, I don't, but I, I <laughs> that sounds so silly. Same time, I don't. Huh. Uh, but, you know, also I was sitting with this guitar, which is, uh, uh, it's this Eastman uh, Romeo uh, NYC is what it's called. It's got these filter trons in it uh, that are Seymour Duncan uh, filter trons. They sound great, but they're a bit hot. Um, but at, for what I'm doing right now, I actually like it because they are, they are kind of slightly breaking up the front end of the amps, but not enough that my, over, my amps are overdriven too much to make all my reverbs and delays sound wonky. All of that is happening off my pedal board direct. So the delay is just a dual delay, digital delay off my timeline. Uh, the reverb is what I'm calling a dark spring, but it's not that dark. I actually dialed it brighter, but you know, it says dark spring, but it's not, it's a little bit brighter. That's delay and reverb straight to the front of the amp. I'm using, uh, uh, for the tremolo, I'm using my Eventide H9. Uh, what else is on? Yeah, I guess that's it. So in this field, you know, especially with this guitar, It sounds so cool and uh, uh oh i can uh let me um you know i'll turn off the delay let's do that um let me solo up uh let's do okay so the way i have this dialed is the d20 is going to have more mids and it's the it's got the one by 12 ir I, I'm sorry, the D25 has more mids. It's got the one by 12 IR, which makes sense. It's a combo. And then the D20, yeah, the D20 is a four by 12 IR. So let's do, let's listen to the, uh, the D25 first. I'll mute the D20. So now we're just hearing the D25. Here, I'll shut the tremolo lemma lemma low off. So you can hear it's breaking up. It's just these pickups are really, really hot. But if I, you know, play really soft, I, I don't know if you guys listen to uh, or check out uh, Tom Bukovac's channel, Old Uncle Larry, but he he calls it uh, felt hammers. In other words, you play really soft, and and at you know, it's a tone thing. It's like an angle thing, like this, as opposed to. And I'm even turning my fingers a certain way so that the, what little nails I have don't sound sharp. So anyways, I'm doing felt hammers for this whole thing. So that's the, uh, the D25. Now we'll switch to the D20. It'll be on the right. So I've actually got that dialed with less mids, but it's a little brighter, but it also, in, in phones, I don't know if you can hear this on an iPhone, but on headphones, it has more sub lows. So when you, you know, and that's the whole idea is you want different tonalities on each side. So when you play the two together, get a stereo field, something that sounds stereo without stereo imagery, without a stereo chorus or stereo delays bouncing back and forth like I have going. So when I add the delays back in, add the tremolo back.
kind of reminds me of like maybe a Daniel and Wah thing. Especially that thing I was playing at the top. Um, I love Daniel and Wah. I mean, there's worship guitar players that would just bury me at this stuff. So I tend to go like old school, like Daniel route. I, if I wanted to make this a little more overdriven, I guess, overdriven, I, I'm just going to try it out. Let me try the light speed. That's what I do when I'm maybe on a session trying to come up with different sounds. I'll just start turning stuff on. So I turned on my Octoland, turned on uh, kind of the octave thing. So if I wanted to do like volume swells, didn't change anything else, but. Uh, but anyways, uh, <laughs> it's totally getting off the, going off the rails. That's what I, on a crazy train. Can't do that on this guitar. Well, uh, it's kind of the Eddie Munster's version. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. I love playing in stereo. I honestly do. I don't hate it. I just don't do it as much anymore because like I said, there's no place to put it, but it does sound glorious. When you just sit in a room in front of a stereo rig and crank it up and just turn stuff on and try things out, it does sound amazing. So let me know what you guys think of all this. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time.